again. This has been a... God damn, man. <laughs> I don't know if... I don't know if I've fully understood what has happened, but as you can clearly see in front of me, um, I have another MTW, I have this MTW, the first generation, and then I have this MTW now. Um, since me sitting way back recording this Airsoft Pew, we come a long way. Um, if you come here for a quick review, I'll leave timestamps in the description and you can just click in the timeline because this will be a long video. It's going to be a long video. I'm going to take my sweet time with this because, oh my God, we have achieved something and it's <laughs> we, you know, like the people who watch this channel, most of you support me and support the channel and hype it up and join the discord and talk. And we talk about cool stuff and like we have truly made it. What do you mean truly made it? Well, Wolverine have sent me a MTW. I know I'm sponsored by them. That doesn't mean they necessarily give me a gun. Like it means they promote my content. But, um, and back me as a person, I guess. Um, even though they've never truly met me. <laughs> I'm a nice person, yes. Um, they back me and today they decide to send me an MTW. MTW, it says demo on both sides. MTW, I don't. I hope you can see. Very nice. So we have got an MTW. Thank you, Wolverine, for sending me this product. I guess the video is sponsored by Wolverine. They sent me the gun, uh, the SFP. Um. So I guess it's sponsored by them. Let's unbox this. There's a lot of things and a lot of wives' tales, wife stories about the MTW. How it comes out of the box. And I have a Discord where I have a lot of people who are. Um, who writes a lot of things, I have a lot of issues, a lot of problems, and 90% is user error, but obviously there's problems in everything. So, I'm gonna try to go through all the wives' tales people have, and hopefully it's not gonna be real with this version. <laughs> um, for example, I had someone upgrade the MTW like crazy ones, like everything inside, changed everything, and it wasn't just, I was just shooting bad. Then I told them, remove everything, go back to stock. It was still shooting really bad. I'm like, okay. We talked for like a week, maybe a little bit more. I'm like, I don't understand what is wrong. I'm like, please send me a picture of everything. He sends me a picture and there's a suppressor the size of this big suppressor. Um, I say, take it off. And then the gun shoots perfect. So often when you have issues, guys, remember, I'm not just saying that because I'm sponsored by Wolby, but remember, a lot of it is truly user error. Obviously, things come defect. I'm gonna go through exactly how it is when you get an m So we get this package. It has a, let's see. I, so already, I need, I need to say this, this is kind of weird, but I remember once, like the first gen m so it, it had a cardboard box and it was zipped tight into it, which was very, very scary for an expensive gun. It's zipped tight. This is definitely a level up for what it used to be. Let's see if they keep that up. Um, so what is all of this? There's so much stuff in this. This is... So I guess it's not idiot proof packaging because I cannot get it out. Oh, that's, that's a nice patch. That's a patch. There's a card, Wolverine Airsoft, Wolverine Airsoft official product. And then there's a QR code, owner's manual, 12 month limited warranty, 12 months. There is um, nozzle, valve, baffle, front cylinder. Okay, so there's O-rings to the entire engine. Um, there's a, what is this? There's a QR, optional parts. Oh. So this optional part, I remember, so listen guys, if you have issues, I have a lot of videos on my channel, but Wolverine, I have a Wolverine channel by themselves, a official channel where they explain everything. They tend to know a little bit more than me. Um, quick start guide, 7.4 LiPo, check. I always use Titan. Um, storm regulator, auto regulators, it goes from 60 to 140. So quick guide. Step one, uh, you want to read it, pause the video, check, read. 
pause the video, check ring. All rings. So this part, like you can put it in the lower or part of the body, you can screw it in so there's no play between the upper and lower the cart. And I don't know if the QR codes are, I don't know if they're supposed to do something. And a patch, this is obviously the most important part about the gun. Okay, so let's move on. I don't know if you used to get all this stuff. You used to get a patch, like it's just nicer packaged, I guess. The gun is also more expensive now. Everything is more expensive. Um, one second, sorry. I'm taking my time <laughs> to enjoy this moment. This is what you get in the box. What's in the box? It's an MTW. You get a uh, O-ring, crush, washer, bow, refers to probably a line flash hider. So that's to put in front of on the flash hider here, I guess. Oh, I like this. That's an in, that's for the grip. You can put it in the bottom so no dirt gets in. So we get an MTW Mac. Um, I still have the first gen MTW Mac. Okay, that's first gen. That is new gen. Do they look the same? Let's go over real quick. Don't mind. First, new. They look the same. But I know the spring and stuff, the guide system, you can see, very different. This has been used a little bit. I tend not to use the MCW Max. The, I don't, um, I'm not particularly Milsim. So, um, so the Milsim part of me uh, having to hit the ball catch is uh, not very nice for me. <laughs> okay, that's it. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. This is the lower. Okay, so first impressions. Is it the same? It doesn't feel the same. It feels... Oh yeah, this is the MTW Tactical. The Tactical. Like... It feels and looks more polished than this boy up here. Um, I can see already in here, you can see the, the wires has like a guide thing for it, which is very nice. It has a, hmm, is that for like a, yeah. So this looks like to try to protect. That was not the early ones. Um, I still have the Gen 1 trigger board actually. I should take out the trigger boards at some point. I'm not gonna do that yet. Um, let's see, so this one has an FCU I think. Oh, this is, this is like a very different line. Oh yeah, oh my god, that's a tiny FCU. That's a, that's the new FCU, I guess. That's a, that looks nice. Let's see, okay, let's look very quick. All right, it has a bunch of button. There's dwell, rough, burst mode, dwell, max. I don't know what all those things mean. Guys, you know I'm gonna take. Let's put this back in. This feels like this, actually this is a weird, uh, miniature thing but it feels very like this this wire and wire protection feels very feels very dense that's good let's see the switch hmm, hmm. is it because it's ambi hmm let me check here one second maybe it's because it's brand new nah it is different I like that more, that's more snappy. That's just the Gen 1 by the way everyone. I like that, that, that I like that more. Um, okay, let's talk about this real quick. The ball catch, that's a different quality I can see. That's not like the Gen 1. It also has a different spring I think. This is very nice. Has a little bit of wobble. That's easy to fix with some electrical tape. This feels nice. Um, MS-130, I don't know what that means, uh, DLG, the brand, it has a QD mount, which is nice, I think this is the QD mount, this could be the QD mount, yeah, or it could be for the um, air hose, could be both, I don't know honestly, um, yeah, this feels nice, let's see. Shit. These pins. Oh wait, oh, those pins are very hard. That's different. That's nice. I like it. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so that's the um, 
That's the that's the lower. Let's check the upper. Hmm. Oh. This is the quad rail version. Jesus Christ. I feel like maybe <laughs> Wolverine was very inspired by uh they're like, we really like baseball in America. They're like Okay, um the quad rail. So obviously you need some protection for this because it's it's pretty it's very sharp. It also has a like a gas pipe, even though it doesn't have gas. It it be airsoft. Let's look here. This is how it looks. Um It feels nice, it feels very nice. It has the red flash hider which are which are banned on all my guns. Um oh that's nice. People say it doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't. It's just there to be cool. Anyways, I've run my Gen 1 MCW, never had anything get inside of this. And this is the new hop unit. You can see. There's actually play. I've had people tell me there's play. There's actually play. Hmm. Let's see if that makes a. If that does something, this is the new BB retention system, which is gonna make sure I don't lose all my BBs. Okay, let's put this together. There's a this airsoft replica Wolverine. Let's put in a battery also. I already my battery's here. One second, let's take a take a short drink. So I'm used to having a um, drop stock, but this gun, I'm gonna run this gun stock for a while. I already I told on my Discord. I'm like, so if you wanna know all the updates and stuff, all the fancy new stuff. Let's try to put in the gun, I guess. There's no lights in the, the FCU. Let's check. <laughs> could you imagine? Or maybe I'm doing something wrong right now, which could also be a thing. Hmm, well, that fits pretty nice. Okay, that is very stuck. Help, step bro, I'm stuck in the washing machine. Some of you might be like, there's no way you're using a hammer. Yep. Okay. Of course, it's it's a tool. It's a it's a wet it's a pew of of mass destruction. Don't be too afraid of using it, you know. It's supposed to be used. So yeah. Well let's put this in. Let's see, but I go straight in. Very nice. I'm not gonna destroy any wires. Hmm. Ah, that's very hard. There we go. No sound. Oh, it shoots. Have you heard about a ball catch? <laughs> oh yeah, we forgot this. There's the amazing, what is this? Oh, you have foam. <laughs> and now we have, sorry, I had a moment of panic thinking it didn't work. That is the, the um, flash hider, which I'm not gonna use, but obviously we have to use it real quick. Let's see here, I need to get that off. So in Denmark, we don't have real guns. Thank God. So uh, we can remove this uh, this beautiful orange uh, thing. So how how will we go about removing it the best way without breaking anything? I don't know. Oh, that's actually kind of... People say it's very stuck. Oh, I can already read all the comments on YouTube, man. And I sent you a demo weapon! Your gun is obviously tuned to perfection. This is kind of nice. This looks very fancy. So I'm not putting on the O-ring for the flash hider real quick. Let's see. Hmm. 
feels kind of nice. The plan for this airsoft replica is to build it to a DMR. I'm gonna build it out to make it huge. I don't have my scope right now, I was supposed to get one, but uh, um, I work with Vortex in Denmark and um, supply and demand is uh, absolutely insane. And obviously they are not sending to people who they sponsor first compared to uh, people who actually buy their stuff. Mm, that's, that's, a, that's a long boy. Let's see. The quality, I must say. I must say the quality of everything feels, it really feels like a step up. But obviously right now I'm comparing the, the, the Forge Tactical to, to this one. But um, if we're gonna be honest, let's take this real quick. Let's, uh, this deserves this new fancy, fancy pew deserves this. Um, let's be honest, this one cost twice of this right now with you know like all the upgrades and all the things but um you know this this probably might be better because a lot of people always say you know cash lab you've done so many upgrades to your mgw it's so unfair but a lot of times especially with really expensive things like in this it doesn't give you that much performance that's why i'm gonna run this stock to show people hey my friends, you can actually, you know, you don't need to put a, a thousand euros into a gun to make it shoot it even better. I think this is one thousand one hundred dollars or euros or whatever, um, which is kind of expensive. But uh, you get a lot of different things. There's a lot of trademarks, like trademarks here, like um, Invictus, that's from themselves. It seems more like a full finished product than when I got this one. I love it and I will never stop using this. This is the this is gonna be the CQB slash uh, destroyer pew and this is gonna be the I'm gonna shoot 2.89 joules because that's DMI in Denmark pew. Um so yeah. Let's see how it shoots real quick. Uh like if it feeds. You know it is a new new pew so let's see if it feeds. Let's get the let's use the MTW max because why not? So I'm gonna chrono the gun but I'm gonna chrono it with 30s. Um I am gonna use 40s. Um Um, MTW Max do not fit in the... No, they do not fit in this. In the Odin. Like the Odin... Um, now I have BBs around. The old Odin clips on. Look here. Um... Well, that doesn't fit. I don't know how many BBs I got in this. Let's uh, do this real quick and check. <clears throat> so um, we're gonna fill our max with thirties. Because I'm a cheap ass, I'm sponsored by Nimrod, but it still hurts me inside to just stand here and shoot with 40s like crazy. Let's uh, stop feeling this max. There's a bunch of BBs in it now. Okay. Let's see if the gun feeds with the EPM max. There's been a lot of people who said, oh, that looks nice. Okay, and the hob is set to seven. Okay, and we are at 100 PSI with 0 30s. Let's see what it shoots, how many joules it shoots. I will come and show you guys so I can prove. I can show it set to 30s real quick. Set to 30s. One, two, five. One, three, five. One, three, one. 138, 133, 133, 
One, two, nine. One, three, two. One, three, three. One, three, two. One, three, five. One, three, five. One, three, nine. One, three, four. One, three, four, three. And it's all in joules. Let's test on a um, fully automatic. Right now the rate of fire is uh, very abysmal, but let's check. That's 1000 rounds per minute. We do not want that. I, I do not understand that. Let's see. It's a 16 RPS, I think, which is uh, not a lot, but we can just turn that up. 16, yeah. Very accurate. And it's 149 joule. Okay. Let's see here. Not a single misfeed. That's a lot of BBs. I thought there's a BB retention clip. I guess there was. Uh, not a single misfeed. That's good. So now I need to find out how to use the FCU in this. I actually don't know how to engage the FCU. So that's, you guys gonna learn with me. But the final result, 149 duel after shooting a few BBs. It um, got more consistent, but obviously you need to set in the gun, set in the SF fuel fuel, and um, it needs a it probably needs a thousand BBs to go through before the bucking is proper. To go in programming mode, I obviously know that. Let's cut everything else out. <laughs> to go in programming mode, you hold both buttons in in five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Very blink. Let's see. There we go. So now it's on um, dwell and rate of fire. So how do we know? So right now it's on dwell. Click both to switch. So it's on dwell and it's on six. I'm gonna take it in the middle. Now it's a four fully lighted. Um, yes. Anyways, now we're gonna click both to switch to rate of fire. Okay, I think it's rate of fire. No, it needs to be red. One. There we go, now it's red. Now we can choose rate of fire. And it was on the lowest. Let's put on very high. I don't understand why you can uh, click so many times. That's kind of confusing. Okay, I will actually show you guys. I'm sure it means something, but for someone like me who has put that, you see here, it's lighting up a lot. And now I'm gonna click on it. Oops. I'm gonna click on it. I would assume, because I know the max the Indian can run is 35. So I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna put it on the on the second last. There we go. That that should be 30. 30 rate of fire. To go out of programming mode, just take out the battery. Boop. Boop. There we go. It should remember. Remember to get the wires all the way in. I'm sorry. This is like this is gonna be a long video, but I want it just to be so you guys see how it is when you get a brand new MTW. So like so you see how I set everything up. I just feel like. A lot of the guides out there doesn't go you through everything and a lot of the people are afraid of showing you when they don't do something correctly and I, I, I don't care man. Like if I don't do something correctly I can use it as a lesson to show you guys stuff. Okay let's put So it said 64 on it but I didn't think that was rate of fire. Um, That's fast. So I put rate of fire a little bit too fast, it looks like. Programming mode. Um, let's go to rate of fire. Now it's red. Let's go wait. So I guess each step, rate of fire. So mean one 
RPS. So, I'm not sure I can semi-lock this, by the way. I'm supposed to run as DMR, but I mean, hey, if you can't semi-lock it, unfortunate. Let's see what it shoots though with the how much air it went from one one four one four one I think or something before. Let's see on semi now. One four five one four five one four five one four seven one four five. Well, I turn it up in dwell and it's way more um efficient. Tomorrow I'm gonna go play with this MTW. I'm gonna bring it to the field. Completely unmodded, yes. I'm gonna show everyone that you don't need to um, mod your MTW like absolutely crazy. Uh, I know I work with both Max and uh, I've done stuff with Silent Industries. But listen, everyone here, please listen. When I tell you and I promise you that MTW, nine out of 10 times is very, like it's just good enough out of the box. Like this one is, uh, like, so this price, it should be good enough. Bounce per second, let's go. Doesn't feed. That's actually a thing someone told me. Okay, so... Um, the hop unit was bouncing when I was trying to feed. Hmm... Okay, so... This sounds about the right. I'm gonna try to go one more up in speed and then we'll see how it sounds. But I couldn't, it wasn't feeding properly. So that could be a lot of things. It could be not enough dwell. A lot, I mean, a lot of things. <laughs> not enough dwell. Uh, barking is not set properly. Um, Wolverine obviously doesn't test it with a crazy rate of fire because that's not the entire brand. But obviously, me. Who's a dipshit? One's high rate of fire. One, two, three, four, five. One. Take one up. No, go one up in speed. That is out. In again. Let's see how it sounds. Let's try to put it in a magazine. Let's see if the thing hops again. Doesn't feed. Okay. Hmm. So, we came into an issue of uh, me being dumb. Listen. I ran out of air. <coughs> We're gonna have to film second day. Um, gonna come back with more air, a full air tank, find everything. I'm gonna troubleshoot a little bit on the field tomorrow because now I can't set anything up. As I said, the gun is going to be kept completely stuck. We will find out the rest tomorrow. <laughs> okay, just to prove that it's the EPM's problem with not feeding any BBs. And the MZW Mac, the brand new that came with it, we have 740 gram BBs in it. It's a 90 PSI, which is 1.7 joules. 
um, and I will show you guys now that it feeds perfectly. Right now it's a 32 rate of fire uh, dBs per second, which is pretty fucking fast. So, semi, I'm gonna have dBs everywhere. Put auto. Not a single misfire. It turns out that EPM, EPM ones are horrible in a medium to W and it causes a ton of misfeeds. So, yes. Um, I heard the new PTS magazines, the 150 rounds. The rework of the Gen 1 works amazing. Well, I know they work amazing. I have a guy who's literally shown me. So, um, yes. 32 rates of fire and it feels perfect. Very nice. So since I'm running the completely new MTW Forge Tactical, it's completely stuck and I've done nothing to it. I just want to show real quick how it shoots. The last target you see is 65 meters away, which is 250 feet. <laughs> Please note there's a very strong side wind. And you can clearly see that on the BBs. I wanted to shoot with 40s out of the box, but it didn't seem to lift it efficiently. So I changed to 33s, and right now I'm just trying to make it shoot perfect to 65 meters. I'm struggling a little bit, sometimes it's under hopping and sometimes it's over hopping, but that could just be the magazines. <laughs> I thought about adding hit markers each time I hit it, but you can clearly hear the ding when I'm hitting. What did I like about this gun? Well, it's an NZW. It's super robust. This feels way more robust than the first gen. Like this literally feels like a tank. Like it feels way stronger. It's not even comparable to my first gen. The furniture feels better, obviously. Like it comes with nice furniture. I really like, I really like this grip. This grip for me is super nice. I like this stock, it's comfortable. This is this hurts me to say. When Wolverine asked me if I wanted the normal forge, well they actually made me the normal forge first. I'm like, hey, I want the tactical forge because that shit cool. Um they're like, are you sure about that? And I'm like, yes, yes, of course. Well, it turns out that um so I always thought I had pretty average hands. This quad uh rail C clamming is uh I, I have small hands, I guess. See, climbing this uh, this rail is very uncomfortable for me. Um, if you have bigger hands, this quad rail is probably really good for you. I'm thinking maybe about changing the quad rail. It hurts to say. I really like the look of it, but I literally have two small hands. <laughs> Pros, it, it it's really, really, really sturdy. Like all the furniture, like the selector switches, like everything feels good. I don't understand why this is here. When it's not really a, um, like when it doesn't lock up, it just feels like they did what people wanted. Like the everyone, as I remember at some point, it was a bunch of drama. It's like, why, why is there not a, um, that thing? And they added it to the forged. Um, I feel it's just there for looks. I mean, that's fine. It's airsoft, but yeah, I mean, I think it's cool.
I guess. It just doesn't do anything, but yeah. The cons of this gun, um, when I got it, I had to tighten everything. The front rail, this, it's actually, it's actually loose again. Can you see here? It's very loose. After a full game day. Um, in the upper and lower, there's a lot of play. But for me, it doesn't matter about the play. But I heard a lot of people talk about it, actually. But I don't give a shit. If it doesn't affect any performance, why would it matter? So, and I don't think it affects performance. Um, a con. So, look at this. I don't know if I already said this in the other video. But look at this. Listen to this. That feels very sturdy, very clicky. This one, very mushy, no click. Only It only clicks when you're hitting the two stoppers or whatever it is. That's the only time it clicks. Maybe that's how a real gun is, I don't know. Never shot a real gun with fully automatic, only an AK, and that's not an M4. Uh, I don't like that. The, the selector switch I'm not a fan of, but it works and it feels really good compared to a lot of guns I've ever hold. Like It actually feels good. In regarding accuracy, um, I shot yesterday 3,000 BBs through it, 3,000-4,000 BBs through it. Um, that's the time it takes for the bucking to set in. Let's see how much hop am I on. I'm on 8 out of, is it 9 or 10? Let's see. 8 out of 12. That's what it needs to hop 30 freeze. I had to go to 30 freeze because with, it didn't want to feed with my 40s at all. Like, at all. It actually couldn't feed. Like, at all. It fed perfectly with the 30 freeze. With the 30 freeze, it was, it was okay. Um, when Wolverine makes these guns, I don't know how they set them up. Like, when I'm, when I'm at lower joules, around 1.2 to around 1.4, it shoots way better and it's way more accurate than I go when I go to 1.69, like 1.7 initially. Like that's what we play at with zero meters distance in Denmark. Uh, it shoots better on lower duels, like more consistent. In Denmark, that's just not a good thing because um, obviously going higher duels slash higher BB weight gives us longer range than a lot of other countries in the world. And obviously for Wolverine to build a gun that works a, like for Denmark, rules and regulations is just dumb as heck because Denmark Denmark Russia and Poland is like the countries in the world where people are like so um you're playing at zero meters with a zero point fifty grams fully automatic uh one point seven to two joules <laughs> yes Venice um so obviously they cannot build a gun for this they need to build a gun that works like on average all over the world you know so on lower duels, it worked better. So I will be upgrading this. I could still shoot people 60 meters away. Like still, like no problem. 60 meters away, I could still shoot people. I'm making it sound way worse than it is, but I could shoot people 60 meters away with Super 33 Um With this one, it has a way longer barrel. This is a 285. This is a 366 barrel. Uh, which means I get more jewels at lower PSI, more AFS, and I can lift heavier BBs because there's R hop in this. It's R hopped. Uh, on this, on this efficiently at 70 meters, how much is that in feet? 70 meters is the, is that like, is that like, 230 feet, 240, 250? I don't know. Uh, feet. I can efficiently shoot people with one BB with a 40 easily, like very easy. Um, this I would say I'm reaching at 60 meters. That's when I'm like, okay, this is now it's getting now it's getting hard to hit people. Um, and 60 meters is uh, okay for like a lot of fields, 100%. But I need more range, and that's why this gun is gonna be upgraded with everything. Oh yeah, I haven't spoken about this trigger. So how do I like this trigger? What I can say is that this trigger will not snap like the first gen MCW trigger I got. I snapped that. This feels like a really good trigger, but I cannot click fast on this. Like,
You saw the face it just did. That's what you have to do to click fast on this trigger. Um, that's obviously why I'm swapping out to a max speed trigger. But yeah, internally, I'm going to keep the stock trigger board and the FCU that Wolverine has made because it is really nice. It is really, really nice, actually. <laughs> um, and I'm going to keep the Gorilla in this. This is going to be a DMR, so I'm going to semi-lock it. I'm going to change the hop unit. I'm going to change the um, barrel to Umbrella Armory hop. And you will see what's going to happen to this because this is going to get super upgraded. I was like, okay, I need to play with the gun stock before I do anything just to show respect to Wolverine because they build amazing products. And my whole idea was, okay, I need to run this gun and be like, I'm just gonna show everyone, I'm gonna say fuck all the haters, fuck all the stupid people who say you need to upgrade your MTW because I have this one that is super upgraded with all kinds of stupid shits. I'm like, I'm gonna show you, you don't need it. But when I run it in Denmark at our duels and everyone else is doing it, in Denmark I need to upgrade it. Um, so that's why this will get transformed into a DMR. My ideal duels will be 2.89 joules all in all it's a really good gun out of the box but uh for danish regulations and dual rules um a upgrade of you would actually only need to upgrade the bucking which would be a maple leaf super macron seven degree in denmark i think what they have in it is a maple leaf no I, it is a maple leaf bucking they have in it i think it's the first gen I, i'm not sure which one it is i looked at it it definitely wasn't a Super Macron, and it was not the silicone one, so I guess it's the other one. I don't remember what that's called, but that is not efficient enough for Denmark. Full automatic, you can see earlier in my video, it worked on full automatic, then I messed with some things, and then it didn't work on full automatic. The moment I changed BBs, it was feeding at 30, 30, or like 30 uh, BBs per second. Um, so that was just a user error, like 99% of these cases are. Like, the gun came perfectly out of the box, and then I'm like, <laughs> Let's mess with everything. <laughs> very nice gun. This is what you call a very nice pew. Um, anything else? Thank you for Wolverine for sending this gun. This this airsoft replica. It's a very nice MTW. I cannot wait to show everyone what I'm gonna do to it. I'm gonna do a little MTW upgrading ASMR. Yes, I had to shim my EPM Max for it to feed perfectly in this one. In that one, it feeds perfect, no problems. But I had to shim it before it fed perfectly in this. Uh, when you shim it, you uh, put uh, two two O-rings inside inside in front of the screw from the inside, and then when you screw it in, the the feed tube in this thing is gonna get lifted up a little bit more. Then it feeds perfectly on semi and full automatic. Anything else? I don't know. It's an amazing gun. This video is probably way too freaking long, but uh, yep. Thank you, Wolverine, for seeing this gun. All I can say is that the whole thing of this packaging, the what, all the stuff, extra stuff you get with it. It's a, um, you've come a long way. <laughs> I, I guess do not believe the first MTW was just like, st just had strips and stripped into a cardboard box. <laughs> nice. But I mean, it came working, so hey. I will go more into a lot of things when I'm gonna do an ASMR video that's gonna be really long too. So yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you everyone for being here, staying here, supporting the channel, making these things possible. Because without you, this truly would not be possible. So, um, yeah, I'm thankful for that. And Wolverine, obviously. Thank you for sending me a MTW and not being afraid that I'm going to shit on it. <laughs> it's, it's hard to compete with an MTW, honestly. Comes out of the box, ready for war. But um, for the high duels we're running in Denmark, a little upgrade is very necessary so yes anyways thank you everyone for watching leave a comment subscribe join the discord be a part of the community we troubleshoot a lot of things when people have problems we fix it very fast usually within the first day so yeah see you all and um, peace